Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is an Entropic Line Renban Killer problem by myself and Missing Deck. Um, and the way this one works is you've got um, the entropic lines, digits, um, uh, any set of three sequential cells on the entropic line. One of them must be low, which is one to three, medium, four to six. One of them must be high, seven to nine. Digits placed on the purple Renban lines um, must perform a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. And the digits placed in the cage must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. There is a link below to where you can uh, open a uh, this grid and attempt it yourself. You must place the digits in all of the cells marked with the beige Xs. Yeah, they're a little hard to see in this one, I know, but consistency. Um, so give this one a shot. I'm going to wait a few seconds um, so you can pause the video and then I will be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so this is a deduction we found while creating another puzzle and we really, really liked this one. So the first thing that you can de um, deduce with this is if you look at the five cage, there's only two ways of making up a five cage. Um, you can use one, four or two, three, but you can't use two, three because two, three are in the same entropic band and these are on an entropic line. So they have to, these three cells must form, must contain one of each of the entropic um uh, one of the entropic bands or entropic strata. So if you were to do this, um, make these two, three, they would be the same and that doesn't work. So these must be from one, four. Now we want to think about these Renban lines because what happens if you put a one on one of these Renban lines? Well, then the Renban line in order to form a set of consecutive digits would have to be one, two, three. But if we put one, two, three on this Renban line, what are we going to put as a low digit onto that entropic line? There'd be nothing left because we've used all the low digits. So we can never put a one on any of these Renban lines. So because the Renban line takes all of the options except for these, the one must go onto the entropic line. The same is true for nine. If you put nine onto one of these Renban lines, then it would become nine, eight, seven, and there would be no high digit to go into those three sets. Cells. So the nine can't go onto the um, Renban line. It must go into onto the entropic line. Can't go in the five cage. But now I've used the low and the high digit on the entropic line. So I can't use two, eight, seven, or three on the um, on the entropic line. So when I put two onto a Renban line and I can't use one, it must go two, three, four. So four, two, three, and four is one of these, and eight, seven, six is the other. So we know this is the one. The digit we haven't put on a Renban line is nine and five. So this becomes a five, nine pair. And because this is one and this is four, we know because of the entropic layout um, that this is going to go one, four. We need to put a high digit into this run of three. So this becomes the nine. And then we need to put a medium digit into this run of three. And this becomes the five. And that is the solution to this problem. I really like the trick of the um, these Renban lines only being, if they take all three of the high or lows, it breaks the entropic. It's a very nice little trick that we found while creating a different puzzle. Um, and it is definitely one that we want to explore more, but it was definitely worth showcasing in a problem. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Um, and if you're a setter, <laughs> maybe you want to pay some attention to it. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.